Okay, then, let's move on. You know, we're going to do tonight something that's uh, fun. We've done this many times in the past. People always enjoy it. It's a little thing we call actual items. Actual items. You can't make them up. You've seen this kind of thing before. We have an amazing research staff. They look through magazines, newspapers, and they cut out things that are uh, just phrased wrong from advertisements. Maybe it's a typo. Maybe something went a little screwy along the way. And it just cracks us up. And the best thing is you can't make them up. They're real, folks. You can't make them up. First up's an ad from the Bloomington Beacon in Bloomington, Indiana. It's an ad for family portraits. It's a normal-looking ad. Everything looked nice here. Get your family portrait right there. Uh, 488 seems like a good deal. Everything looked fine. Everything looked normal. But look what it says next to this picture right here. It says, free duplicates if you can determine this person's sex. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make them up. Why would you? That would waste everyone's time. Here's one from the Tempe Times in Tempe, Arizona. It's an ad for kiddie pools. These are a good thing to have in the summer if you got kids. You inflate them, you put the water in. Kiddie pools, it's, uh, everything's great. But look what it says next to this top one right here. This bothered me. It says, alarm sounds when there's more urine than water. <laughs> is, right about now, I'm guessing. Check this one out. It's an ad from the Clearwater Courier in Clearwater, Florida. It's an ad for little circular cat condo that holds up to four house cats. That's right. Little circular uh, cat condo right there. The cats look very comfortable. It comes in different colors. Look what it says over here. It says, $27.99 or for only $9.99, we can call your parents and just tell them you're a lesbian. <laughs> Can't make them up. Next up is an ad from the Newark Chronicle in Newark, New Jersey. It's an ad for tabletop picture frames. Tabletop picture frames right there. Family, loved ones, uh, pretty good deal there. Just heartwarming photos. Everything looked fine. But look at this frame right here. This is a weird thing to have in there. What is he doing here? <laughs> nice. Odd choice, if you ask me. Next is an ad from the Sharper Image Catalog. They've got everything, all the coolest, latest gadgets. It's an ad for a laser-guided pool cue. They have those now. A laser-guided pool cue. I thought that was kind of a cool thing. And then look what it says here, though. It says, ta-da, you're the James Bond of the rec room, Poindexter. <laughs> no. I think you got it right the first time. <laughs> have confidence in your decisions. That was very, I'm your life coach here. That was very good what you did. You saw an inferior joke and you remained quiet. <laughs> then you second guessed yourself. Here's one from the Scranton Chronicle in Scranton, Pennsylvania. It's an ad for a nursing home that shows an elderly woman painting a picture. It's good uh, activity, an elderly woman just painting a picture. Everything seemed all right. Look what she wrote beneath the painting, though. This bothered me. <laughs> My God, <laughs> I'm going to hell when I die. <laughs> and finally, we have an ad from the Worcester Times in Worcester, North Carolina. It's an ad for a weight loss program. And of course, they have their success stories down here before and after. Uh, David lost 118 pounds. That's pretty good. Aliette lost 102 pounds. But check this out. It says, Nancy lost zero pounds. <laughs> You're going to want to stick around when we come back. Jessica Beale. Gonna be right.